We are currently in the main library downtown in Columbus, Ohio, uh, in the Carnegie Gallery, which shows um, the Columbus Open Studio sh and Stage uh, preview show. was to uh, to exhibit the work of all of the cost artists that are participating in the in the tour this year we have everything from metal sculpture to ceramics painting photography sculpture there is a piece in this exhibit that that I, I just absolutely love it's by Laura Alexander and it is hand cut paper. It looks like it could be laser cut, but it's not. It's all hand cut and it's layers upon layers of paper. And what she does is she, before she cuts it, she paints the back of the paper with acrylic, bright acrylic paint. And in this case, in this particular piece in this exhibit, it's pink paint and green paint. So what happens is when you look at the paper all layered together, there's a reflection of the paint on the back side of the paper and it makes the whole piece glow and it's just absolutely brilliant and I actually found this out figured out what her process was on last year's tour so these are the things that you're going to find out if you go on the tour you're going to learn all about the creative process Each one of these pieces represents the way each one of these artists work. Uh, so I think that you'll have a good idea of what you will see in the studio. Although this is the finished product and process is very much a part of Columbus Open Studio and Stage. So uh, you might not necessarily have the best idea about how they make what they make until you go to the studio. Hopefully you'll be pleasantly surprised. One of the pieces that I'm really fond of is a piece by Chris Tennant. The composition is kind of dark, but then there's these beautiful yellow dandelion flowers in the center, and it reminds me of my childhood when adults would say, oh, dandelions, they're weeds. And I thought they were the most beautiful flowers, and they were bright yellow, and you could paint your skin with them. So it brought me back to my childhood when I saw that piece. He uses a lot of rugged material, so he'll begin with burlap and wood and he'll chisel that all down and then he takes um, oil paints, which is this really fine medium and puts that over top of um, this, you know, rugged wood. I love this event, the concept of this event, because it brings together uh, well, it further unifies our city, and I feel like it gives a good overview to what Columbus is in our, is in our community. I was delighted with Kat Sheridan's piece when I saw it. It is a um, mixed media piece uh, that includes dead bees <laughs> and um, epoxy resin and clay and wire, and it's really very stunning. I chose Jen Rubelski's piece. Um, she is an artist that I love her sense of humor. I love the craft she puts into her work. She lays bits of cut paper in, in patterns and then she'll paint that and sand it and paint it again before she applies her last um, layer, which is usually a really lovely character, uh, an animal that's humanized. I, I love it. I love her work so much. <laughs> So for the 2017 tour, we have 50 artists at 32 unique locations um, where uh, artist studios, select artist studios, open their doors to the public and select uh, performance venues, open their backstages to the public as well. But the cool thing about it is most of the studios on the tour are, um, are, are, in, are in folks' homes. So these are spaces that you may not ever get to see. Definitely do not plan to get to all of them. We have a great website, use that as a resource. Also the exhibit here at the Carnegie Gallery. So we recommend you investigate the artists, look at their work, check out their websites, and then create your plan of action. Because you can't possibly see all the artists at one time on the tour. Two days is not enough.